Buddy. Buddy. Bad dog. Somebody peeping in the house, so now they have to wear the hat of shame. Yes. Is that you? You did that? You gotta wear the hat of shame. What's up guys, my name is Amber with the Ramblin' Richardsons. Welcome back to the channel. And then you can hear something cooking in the background. Yeah, today is a cooking video. Make sure you go down there, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I'm looking at you. Yeah, you. Okay, now, today we're in the kitchen. I've been seeing tons of videos about these viral tacos. Uh, hamburger tacos, right? We're gonna try them out. Seems like a, kind of like a flash in the pan. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna try them out. Before my wife gets home, I'm cooking. We got one in the pan back here right now. Let me show you what I got working with right now, okay? All right, so got some ground beef here that's been thawed for a few days. Needed to be cooked and I've got Onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of Morton salt. We season these, and then you spread it out on a tortilla like this, right? That's the whole premise. And then you cook this face down, and then face up, and melt the cheese, and put all your fixins on it. So, yeah, let's take a look at the pan. Oh yeah, this is crisping up quite nicely. I think we need to go for a flip pretty soon. We got some lovely pepper jack. We're gonna be putting on top of these burgers straight from my deli. So I just flipped this burger. This is what it looks like now. And we're gonna throw a little slices of pepper jack on this bad boy. Let it crisp up. Yes, sir. You know, I almost made a whole video about cooking and not actually making the food but there is something about a house that smells like freshly cooked food it doesn't matter what ethnicity like you are when you walk into a house and you smell that foods have been recently cooked in that house or you can tell that they cook regularly in that house there's just something about that that's comforting when you walk in and you smell a home-cooked meal. It tells you that there's love in that family. It tells you that somebody put some effort into trying to show, hey, I love you, here's some food. Our house smells amazing right now. Right, we got the second one down. Let's see if I can get this flip on camera. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Good job. Okay, so I'm throwing together a knockoff Big Mac sauce. We got mayonnaise, stone ground mustard, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and it calls for sweet relish, but I hate sweet relish, so 
I just used dill pickles that I chopped up myself. We're gonna mix all of this together. I put a splash of rice vinegar to make it sweet because it didn't have sweet relish. Um, it calls for regular vinegar typically to make the Big Mac sauce, but rice vinegar with regular pickles tastes just the same to me. I hope nobody blows me up in the comments about that. There it is, finished product. It doesn't have ketchup in it. The paprika is what give it, gives it that color. So all you haters out there that says there's ketchup in Big Mac sauce. I don't think so, partner. Got a little dust up onion there. Got some best made pickles here. Last one in the pan. Already turned the heat off. We got four over here. Looking pretty. Oh yeah. All right, this is our finished product. A couple of tacos, burger tacos, Big Mac tacos. Now we have to taste test. Oh Lord. Okay. I just tried the viral tacos, the hamburger tacos. We did ours Big Mac style. I don't hate it. It's actually really, <clears throat> it's actually really good. Um, the tortilla is nice and crispy. The meat's cooked all the way through. I thought it was gonna be soggy and the meat wouldn't cook all the way through, but it did. And the Big Mac sauce is so good. So lunch is served, y'all. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life's about the journey, not the destination. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Flash in the pan. <laughs> Anyways.